living your 2018 as if it were your last year and we are on our 70th video 70 videos that means there are 290 videos more to go and i am ready for it because this is really a series that i am loving to do i am loving it i'm absolutely loving it and today i wanted to talk about love i wanted to talk about love and self-esteem now i teach a year-long power course called my power and i teach a six-month create a happy life course and in about two weeks i'm starting a love and self-esteem course and in all of these courses the basic line like i spoke with you about yesterday and the day before that is self-esteem with self-esteem everything works better in our lives the more robust and solid your self-esteem is, the more equilibrium you have. And as I spoke in the videos in the past days, you are a better communicator, but also in love. Self-esteem in love is fundamental. That's why I call the course Love and Self-Esteem, because a lot of times we go into a relationship looking to enhance our self-esteem if someone else picks me if someone else chooses me if someone else says that I'm okay then I will feel better about myself I will also seem to be more acceptable to other people yes I have a boyfriend or yes I have a girlfriend yes I'm not alone now I spoke about this a few videos back also and in this video I wanted to talk about the aspect of physical and mental abuse when we are in a relationship where we have chosen someone because of our low self-esteem and we have given them our power and they may be judging us and they may be abusing us mentally and or physically and we take it because we do not have a strong self-esteem I want you to look very carefully and see if this is something that may be going on in your life because a lot of times mental and physical abuse starts very slowly it starts gradually as the other person slowly starts to work at undermining your self-esteem and therefore over a period of time you can start to believe that all the situation was all your fault and you may start to believe as this other person may be telling you that in their past relationships they had people who were better than you and so that undermines your self-esteem and you think well I've got to catch well maybe I'm not acceptable and maybe I shouldn't rock the boat and maybe I should just accept it because this person did have other people who were better than me and maybe I should be grateful just for the fact that this person is going out with me and therefore that subtle subtle abuse starts and sometimes we may not even realize it's going on it's just this subtle subtle abuse every day and there may be the tactic of eliminating family and friends and so this person also gains even more power in our lives because basically we've eliminated everybody else and we hang on to this person even more because simply because we've eliminated everybody else from our lives and so therefore that's complete power as this person may in the same time be undermining our self-esteem and it may not even start slowly it may start instantly where this person shows us that they are physically and emotionally abusive right from the start but with low self-esteem we accept it we may think we are going to change them we're going to save them we may feel sorry for them and make excuses for the fact that maybe they've been abused in their lives and we are going to be the person to make them believe in love again all sorts of things all sorts of things but I want to tell you that if someone is physically or emotionally abusing you and you are in a relationship, please work on your self-esteem and know that that is never love. That is never love. I live in a country where unfortunately physical and emotional domestic abuse is very, very frequent. And not only that, but women are killed by the hands of their husbands every single week not a week goes by that we do not hear about this on the television and there was usually physical and emotional abuse that went on for years and i want you to think about why why because if we have enough self-esteem we will know what love truly is and what it really feels like and it is not being abused so if we love ourselves and we are truly thinking about our well-being we will make those changes before the situation gets really bad okay so i just wanted to say that and always if you are looking for love remember you are priceless you are wonderful you are priceless you do not need a relationship to make you think that you are worthy you are worthy so live your life love life and love you and stay safe see you tomorrow